Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R350 server. In this video, we're going to specifically show you how to rack your server. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R350 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in. Uh, this video is going to be specifically dedicated to how to rack your Dell PowerEdge R350 server, and it's really simple as a whole. All you're going to need is the two rails that you see in front of me, and we're going to show you physically how to put the rails into the rack and then how to put the server into the rails. Let's get going. All right, so now we're going to show you how to put the rails into the rack to start. So we have both of them down here, so we're going to want to grab our left rail. It's gonna say left and front right here. So we're just gonna put the left on the front side. I like to do this with two people, it makes it a lot easier. So Angel, let's go ahead and put this on number nine. So essentially there's two cons that are right here, but he clicked them in on the back side. Now I'm gonna click them on the front side. You'll see, just line it up like this. And when you click it in, it'll lock into place. So when I try to shake it right now, it is firmly in place and I cannot actually remove the rails. If I did want to remove it, this blue clip right here, you're just going to push this out and that'll release them. And now you can pull it out. So I'll do that one more time. Click it into place. Firmly secure. If I want to remove it, this blue clip, you just open it and it comes right out. And then the inners will slide in and out. So we'll show you how to do the right now. All right. So now we're going to do the right side. So you're going to grab your rail, your right rail, and it's going to say right front so you're just going to line up the right on the front side and you're going to do number nine again so just make sure you put it in the same location as you put the other one so we'll put them at nine again and again just the two prongs are just going to line up perfectly and just click right into place nice and simple and again if i wanted to remove it your blue clip right here and now i'll show you how to do the inners so with the inners they just slide right out and there's technically two sets of inners so they'll come out the first one and then the second piece and now we'll show you how to actually put your server into the inners all right so you'll notice within the inners there are three little notches that are carved out we'll show you on the side of the server here there are three little rivets that stick out and what we're going to want to do is take the back two to start and line them up on each side and then we're almost like a hinge just going to come straight down and the other two will fall right into place just make sure that your inner is close enough and it'll lock right in. So now neither of us are holding it, it's it's firmly in the rack. Now, if I try to push our server back, it's locked into place, what, what are we gonna do? Well, on the side, there are two little blue buttons. We're just gonna push that in, and this will just slide right back into your rack. Now, same deal, if I try to pull this out, it's locked into place, so how do I get it out of my rack? Well, we are gonna wanna push down, or push right up here, and this will open up on both sides, and then you can slide that out. So let me show you one more time. We're just gonna push right up here, and this will open up and we'll just pull it right out of our rack. So that's how you put your 350 into your rack. Now do us a favor, if you made it this far, click that like and smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, we do used and we do new. And we'd love the opportunity to earn your data center's business. Please email us at sales at cloudninja.com. That's sales at cloudninja.com.